Hi babes, welcome to Yoga Lotties. I'm here at the beautiful Malmok Beach in Aruba. Okay, let's start on our all fours here, taking a few cat cows. And I hope that you enjoy this scenery behind me. It is absolutely gorgeous. And if you take a peek over to the left every now and then you're gonna see cool water splashing up. And so I just absolutely loved this location and knew I had to film a beautiful routine for you here. Okay, here we go. So let's come up onto all fours, lift those knees up off of the floor. Yep, we're getting right into it. I know, let's warm up that core and then press it all the way back to downward facing dog. All right, so just take a few deep breaths in here. Allow your body to get situated and let's come up onto your toes, roll forward into high plank pose and then all the way back to downward facing dog. Beautiful, rolling through the spine one vertebrae at a time and roll it all the way back. Beautiful work, roll up and forward, nice. And then back to downward dog. This is so good for opening up the whole backside of the body to get blood flowing through your whole body and also beginning to wake up all the muscles, strengthen your arms and shoulders. Nice, now let's hold our high plank pose. We're gonna tap the knees all the way down and back up into a high plank pose. Shoulders stay right over your wrists, tap the knees down, lift the knees up, good. Lower belly squeezes in, nice, so lengthen out through the top of the head and out through the heels, keep going. Tap the knees and lift, squeeze the knees together and lift, nice, and let's press back to downward facing dog. Beautiful, take a few deep breaths in and then lift up high onto your toes and let's lower forward all the way into a nice little rested cobra pose and then back into child's pose. Let's roll forward all the way up, open up the chest roll back into child's pose good and just make it nice and flowy here this is amazing for your posture for your back this is one of my most favorite little flows here because it really hits so many things your spine your back your posture nice and let's press it up into downward facing dog walk forward up to the top of your mat and take the feet up about the width of the mat so have those toes facing slightly out and then roll yourself all the way up to standing here Nice work and reach your arms overhead as you take a nice big squat here, warming up the body, inhaling in, exhale, reach out. Just find a good rhythm of breathing that works for you. I give suggestions on breathing all the time to create a beautiful mind-body connection. Just make it work for you. Good, inhale in, exhale, reach the arms forward. You're gonna feel the body really warming up as soon as we get into these legs here like this. Nice, just mindfully moving. That's what this is all about, getting into your body, connecting to your body. And let's take a chair pose. So bringing the feet all the way together, hands come into prayer pose, little pulses right here. Sit the booty back. So when you look down, you should be able to see your toes. Nice, so those knees are back a little bit behind the toes. And then we're gonna reach the arms as if we're swimming in the water. Switch and switch, staying as low as you can in that chair pose. I know the legs are working and burning. Nice, but I always like to say, remember that burning sensation is your body getting stronger. Okay, come back into chair pose. And we're gonna lift one heel at a time. Lift and lift. Nice, rolling onto the ball of the toe, stretching the ankle. I love this one. Okay, keep going. And stand all the way up, circle the arms out and up, reach up overhead, exhale, fold forward all the way down to the mat, beautiful. And then step the left foot back, step the right foot back, land here in high plank pose, shift back and forward over the wrist. So this is great because it not only strengthens, of course, your core and your shoulders, your lats, your serratus, you are also strengthening your hands and your wrists. So spread those fingers out wide, allow the body to pour weight into it, especially as you reach forward onto the toes. Okay, now let's hold the plank, pull the knee in towards your chest, extend behind you, pull in and back. Beautiful, in and back. I know this is a little bit challenging here. Keep it in and lift the other leg up. Keeping the leg up the whole time is pretty challenging. Good, inhale and exhale just just try to stick with it look at the beautiful water give yourself some encouraging words because i know you can do this and rest here nice job 
Okay, let's go ahead and move into our next pose here, which is just a nice child's pose to give yourself that breather. Take a nice big deep breath in, recommit to your workout, and let's keep it going. And let's hover right over the mat again. Knees are just right over the mat. Good. Now we're going to tap and add on. Tap hand to foot. Switch and switch and switch and switch. Nice. Keep your arms as straight as possible. Use your arms and shoulders. Pull the abs in. Spine is long. You're doing great. And switch and switch and switch and switch. Good job. Keep going. You've got this. This one's really good for arm strength, for balance. Nice. And then stretch it all the way out into high plank pose. Try not to come out of it. Lower the elbows down into a forearm plank. You've got this. I know this is where you build that strength and resilience. You can do it. Hold here. Remember, forearms are parallel to one another. Then we're going to walk our tippy toes up to a dolphin. Walk it back down to plank. All right, here we go. This move right here really changed my body. It was amazing what it can do for you. And then keep walking down. Nice job. Keep that going. Walk the toes up. Walk up, 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 up. Nice. Make sure that the ears land in between the upper arm bones when you get up into that dolphin pose. Okay, now we're gonna add on to this. We're gonna add little hip dips here. So hip dips right and left and right and left. Keep going just like that. You've got this. Okay, come all the way back up into a dolphin pose. Press away from the floor so that you press the elbows off the floor and land in a downward dog. Lift the left leg up, bend and open up the hip just slightly to stretch it out and release. You're doing so good. I'm throwing a lot at you. And I know that every time you come back to this video, switch legs if you haven't yet. Every time you come back to this video, you're gonna just get stronger and stronger because that's how it works. Your body builds and gets stronger every time you show up here for one of your stretchy fit workouts. Okay, let's walk up to the top of the mat. So we're in a nice little forward fold and then rise all the way up to the top. Hands come into heart center and sit it all the way down onto your bottoms okay you guessed it we're moving on to some core work here since this is yoga lotties it's a beautiful mixture of core mind body movement posture strength and stretching and mobility nice all right so let's take these rolls so i'm taking my arms up overhead and then i'm rolling all the way down to the floor beautiful work keep going follow along with me right here rolling through one vertebrae at a time Nice, keeping the ribs in, keeping the lower belly in. Remembering to breathe, especially on the way up, I like to exhale to help power everything up and it really helps to integrate all the muscles together. Now we're gonna roll it back just about halfway and hold there and pulse up and down and up and down. So I'm going to my furthest position I possibly can to where I feel like if I went any further, I would just fall back. So go to your edge, ribs are in, lower belly in, and pulse it out. This is where you get really strong. And take arms overhead, stay right there, and then just move the arms up overhead and down. Now my arms are more like in a ballet position, ballet fifth and first position. Nice rounded elbows framing my face, elbows lifted. Beautiful, I know it's pretty challenging. <laughs> trying to keep a straight face good and roll up good job take a nice little breather and let's go ahead and roll back one more time and now we're going to add on with a little twist so going to your edge one more time and let's add a twist and a twist so imagine as if you're hugging a beach ball and your feet stay flat on the ground that's part of the challenge of finding this opposing movement twist while the feet stay flat on the ground you're doing great really feel your obliques and lower belly muscles work and lift up and relax for a second 
take a breath, exhale, roll all the way down. You're doing amazing. I love this way of moving, just moving gracefully, mindfully. Good, and let's roll all the way up. Reach over your toes and then slowly roll up. Keep reaching the fingertips towards your toes as you roll down. Nice job, bring the hands up overhead and keep the ribs down as you roll up. Good, big exhale, roll through, reach towards your toes. And then as you roll back, pull the lower belly in, reach the arms forward and slowly roll all the way down and arms come up overhead, exhale, good. Ribs come in, exhale, keep reaching towards your toes. Beautiful, fold over the legs, feel the hamstrings stretch and keep going. I just need to adjust myself for a bit and let's roll all the way down, nice and slow and easy. And remember to not use momentum in your arms, but use your breath, use your core. Good, reach forward and fold over the legs. Nice job, let's hold here for a few moments now. And come on up. And let's move into our next exercise. Roll onto your back, reach arms up overhead, squeeze the knees together, reach up towards your toes, and slowly lower down. Moving into our single leg teaser here. This one is pretty challenging and a great prep for the actual teaser pose. And remember here to squeeze the knees together and use your core, so not momentum, but your actual core muscles. Nice, lower belly squeezes down and in to activate everything. And when you exhale, the diaphragm works and it helps to engage all of those lower belly muscles. Beautiful, squeeze, reach up, nice, and lower all the way down. And inhale, exhale, squeeze the knees together, reach up towards your toes, arms parallel to the legs, roll it down and keep going here. Really nice, point your toes, have energy reaching out through your fingertips, energy reaching out through your toes. Try to expand your energy beyond the, the parameters of your body, but actually expand, feel that energy really reaching. Good, now let's take the legs up, up over the hips and let's try for our teaser pose here. Roll all the way down, this is a challenging one. Inhale, exhale, keep the legs together, reach up out of V, reach, 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 you've got this. It took me a few times to figure this out, so if this is your first time trying it, give yourself grace, okay? Remember that every day that you come back and do this video, you're gonna get stronger and keep going. You've got this, reach, reach, reach towards your toes. Hold here for just a moment and release the legs down. Let's take a nice stretch. Reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, fold forward over the legs and relax into this nice forward fold. Take a few deep breaths here and enjoy. And let's move into our next exercise. Lower onto your back. Bring your knees in towards your chest and extend one leg at a time. Knee comes in towards your chest, chest comes in towards your knee, shoulders are up off of the ground, and then now let's take it into a straight leg if you would like to advance the move. I'm holding onto my calf and I'm gently giving my leg a little tug every time that the leg comes in towards me. Beautiful, in, pointing the toes. Nice, if you wanna advance even more, take the hands behind the head, elbows are wide, point your toes, engage your quads, lower belly presses down and in towards the mat to keep those lower belly abs engaged. Good, now let's hold here and just pulse it up and up and up and up. I'm pointing my toe up and I'm pointing my toe out and lift the leg up. Let's switch to the other side. Lift and lift, just hovering that bottom leg right up over the mat. You've got this up and up. Lower belly squeezes in, lift and lift. Okay, grab onto that leg right where it is and then let's take a nice stretch here. Ah, oh, feels so good. Take a few deep breaths in. You can roll the foot around a few different directions. Just find where you need the stretch, where see where your body's craving it. Okay, let's take the leg over to the side a bit. Just give it a nice little hip opening. And then go ahead and switch sides. Grab onto whatever part of the leg feels good for you. Roll out the foot. Feel underneath the foot stretch. Feels so good. 
pull the leg in closer if you can. Take the leg out to the side a bit. Back into the center. And reach it down nice and go ahead and sit on up. And let's move into our next exercise. Coming onto our side, good knees are bent and hands behind the head lift and lower. So the leg stays in this 90 degree position the whole time. Hips stacked right on top of each other. We're going to lift and lower. Good, keep going. Using those outer glutes right here. I love this exercise. Now we're gonna point the leg out straight and come back in. Good, reach and then knee comes in towards the elbow. Reach, knee comes in. So it's like the thigh is coming in towards your chest and extend. Pull in and extend. Beautiful. Keep going. Nice. Let's hold out there. Little pulses. Out, 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 out. Nice work. Keep the elbows wide. Make sure you don't fall. Now let's bring the toe forward and bring it back. Nice. So you're going to tap your foot to hand and reach back. Beautiful. Hand to foot and reach hand to foot and reach good hold that belly in nice 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 good work here hand to foot and reach hand to foot and reach this takes so much stability in your body so you're creating full body stability right here as you're also creating range of motion and mobility in your hips moving nice and slow good now keep the leg out there circle it out circle 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 now I'm keeping my hand overhead it's a little bit more challenging there if you need to place the hand down in front of you you can now let's reverse the circle of the leg right now all right now let's take the leg here we go we're still going I know now we're going to lower lift this is it this is where you really feel it I, my foot is flexed and I'm just lifting up and lowering down over the opposite leg Good, this takes a lot of strength here. I know it's burning. Make sure that the hip doesn't fall back. That's why I place my hand there to just remind myself to not open up too much, to keep the hips stacked right on top of each other. Ah, good job. All right, let's go ahead and move over to the other side. So remember you're stacking your hips right on top of each other, knees on top of each other in a 90 degree position and hands behind the head, lift and lower, feet are flexed and you're just opening and closing, open and close, hinging at the hip right there, good job. Remember to also keep the core engaged so ribs are down, lower belly is pulled in and your elbows are wide. So you're using your back muscles even though we're working the legs. Good, extend behind you, reach and pull it in. So I'm pointing my toe, engaging my quad at the very end. It does take a lot of balance. So you're using all the muscles in your body to help balance you here. Keep going, pulling it in and reaching out. Good job. Hold it there, little pulses. Kick, 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 kick. Try to keep the leg high. Nice, now let's go ahead and reach the toe, reach the arm up overhead, and we're gonna reach hand to foot here. So the foot's gonna come reach all the way up towards the hand, and then all the way back. Nice, beautiful, up and back and up. So just swing in the leg. So you can tap the hand to the foot if you'd like. I'm trying a different variation here to show you a different option with the hand overhead. Good, reach forward and reach back. Reach forward and back. Keep the legs straight the entire time. All right, keep going. Now let's take it into circles. Circle, 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 circle. Beautiful work. And then reverse the circle. Beautiful circles and circle pointing the toe engaging the quad arm is overhead requires a lot of balance and stability now take that foot in front here we go flexing it up and down you've got this i know the leg is burning but you can do it keep going and rest Ooh, 
all right, that was a good burn, right? And now let's move on. Coming up into a downward facing dog. Let's go ahead and take the foot over the knee for a nice stretch. Oh my gosh, that feels so, so good. Feel that outer glute stretch and then walk your hands back towards your feet. See if you can balance here now. Using your body to balance, square off the hips, square off the shoulders, and if it feels good for you, come and rise up, bring the hands to the heart center, and then go ahead and stand all the way up. Bring the knee in towards your chest and place the foot down. Beautiful forward fold all the way back down to the mat. Walk it back out into downward facing dog, and let's switch sides. So take the foot, flex it over the opposite knee, and then find your stretch here again. Oh, this one feels so, so, so good. Nice, release everything here as you release your back and hips and then bring the hands to the heart center. See if you can balance for just a moment before we stand and then lift knee up towards chest and lower foot to ground. Beautiful, let's step the right foot forward, arms reach up overhead and fold forward over the front leg, allowing the body to stretch and release squaring off the hips and if you'd like to add on take the hands clasp them behind your head and take a nice deep shoulder stretch here this also requires a lot of balance and strength in the legs as you stretch them good let's switch sides and that's why i love both pilates and yoga because you not only open the body but then you strengthen it in these new open ranges of motion good take the hands up overhead if you haven't yet to release the shoulders and good, come back into downward dog. Roll forward now onto the hands, lower the knees down. Beautiful work, untuck the toes, lower into a tricep push up here, good. So elbows squeeze in, shoulders squeeze together and then press up, lower down and up. So I'm going really slow on the way down. One, two, three, press it up, beautiful, one, two, three, press it up. Nice job, keep going. One, two, three, and press. Use those strong arms of yours. One, two, three, and press. Keep going. And nice job. Let's come up into our side plank pose. Feet are stacked right on top of each other. Knee comes to elbow and extend. Nice. And in and in. Beautiful. Keep pushing through your left elbow as you lift the hips up as high as you can. Good. Keep going. Really nice. Okay, now don't come down yet and let's just switch right on over to the other side. Don't come out of it, you can do it. And same thing right here, elbow to knee, elbow to knee. You've got this. To your hands into high plank pose hold here for just a moment hold and then we're gonna pull our knee in towards our chest as we round the upper back and now you're gonna bring the knee all the way to the wrist and back up to the shoulder so we're gonna lower and lift here we go and up and lower up and lower beautiful up and step it back to high plank pose good other side lower and lift really round up through the upper back to create shoulder stability so the shoulder blades spread wide good lower and lift use your core and then back to down dog beautiful and roll forward and make your way all the way down to your stomach Hands are coming into goal posts and let's lift up for our back crunches here with arms in goal post. So they're at a 90 degree angle. Everything lifts up at the same time, head and shoulders and arms, beautiful. Keep the lower belly squeezed in towards the back though as you work on your posture. Nice, keep going. 
Now we're gonna swim it. Reach one arm back, one arm forward. One arm back, one arm forward. Shoulders stay relaxed, make sure you're breathing. Use that core even though you're laying on it and switch and switch, beautiful. Those are pretty tough, take a little breather right here. Let's do that again, bring the arms into goal post and let's lift and lift, beautiful. switch the arms let's go ahead and reach and reach one arm back one arm forward really working the arms and the posture and the back keep going this is so good for your spine and your alignment and then reach the arms back all the way behind you lift the heart and chest up and lower down nice job Come on to your elbows now, shoulders over your elbows, onto your toes, and we're going to push forward and back on our toes, see sign forward and back. Nice, keep your, your body as still as possible. Imagine your body as strong piece of plank that does not waver, good. And you're just rocking forward and back, forward and back, beautiful. Now hold this forearm plank, hold. Keep holding, keep holding. Press the palms through the ground. Lengthen your body. See where you can gain more energy, maybe through your breath, maybe by pressing into the elbows more, maybe by pulling the lower belly in even more, maybe by squeezing the inner thighs together. Find new places to be curious about and to engage and to improve upon. Nice. Every time I do a plank pose, I know that there's a new place for me to strengthen. All right, and release down into your sphinx pose. You can even press into the hands, open up through the chest. Beautiful work. Now let's take it into a puppy pose. I absolutely love this pose here. Reach the arms forward and your booty just sticks straight up into the sky. And then if you want to go a little extra, you can bring the hands behind your neck for that extra stretch there. Elbows are just pretty close to my face and I'm letting my body sink in and just stretching it out. Taking a few deep breaths here. <sighs> beautiful, beautiful. And then roll all the way down onto your back. Pull your knee in towards your chest and let's roll over into our easy twist here. <sighs> now you can really just let all of the work go all of the amazing work that you did in class today and you can feel so incredibly proud and accomplished of everything that you did today whether it was challenging for you or whether you've done this before you always get to just feel so proud of yourself for connecting to your body for making time for this connection for this growth of yourself and your health And let's take our feet all the way up into a happy baby pose. This one's an amazing one to release the low spine. Take a big deep breath in and exhale. You can take it into a straddle if you'd like. I always love doing that. It feels so good. And let's go ahead and release the legs and release the hands down towards the mat. We're gonna take a short Shavasana here. So just allow everything to rest Take a few deep breaths in. Close your eyes for just a moment or two. And take deep breaths in and out through your nose. Feeling the body heavy. Good, and take another big inhale in. Reach up overhead. You're welcome to stay in your Shavasana if that feels good for you. Otherwise, you can meet me here in a seated position to close out our class together. 
Before you go, if you know that you're someone who's struggling to stay consistent in your workouts and you know that this is keeping you from having the body and confidence that you deserve, you might be struggling with something called a lack of accountability, which is exactly why I created my Stretchy Fit app to give you that structure and accountability so that you can succeed in your goals. Inside, you're gonna find customizable workout plans, a daily workout schedule, progress tracking, tools to keep you accountable, recipes, and the amazing Stretchy Babe community who are literally crushing their goals every single day. So if you're ready to upgrade yourself because you're worth it and you wanna give yourself the chance to succeed and take your fitness to the next level, then try my app absolutely risk-free for seven days. After that, it's just $9.99 a month. That's like the price of a smoothie and you are definitely worth that. So click the link below, join me now. I'll see you inside, bye.